Alrighty. <laughs> uh, it's time to talk about the person we usually talk about. While they're sitting there reviewing, um, you know, all their uh, Starbucks coffee, uh, coffee and shit like that, I'm here, uh, you probably can't see it, but I'm boiling a whole chicken. <laughs> It's unbelievable, the guy, he's, uh, you know, he's proving more and more these days the uh, belief that I had that the guy's suffering from schizophrenic delusions. It's just, it's remarkable. It's nothing short of remarkable, uh, some of the crap he goes on about, you know. But it's the same stuff. It's almost like you're just watching it on, on repeat, you know. And, uh... I got the best content, I got the da 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 We haven't seen cooking videos in ages. We haven't seen anything except him sitting in that van talking shit. And an arrest record. You know. Oh, I'm going to review something. You know, he's reviewing bloody bottles of drink that he bought for a uh, couple of dollars, you know. I've even seen him stand there with a Mars bar. You know, which as uh, many years know are made in this country and actually they ain't made terribly far from uh, where I am. It's only a short morning drive and I could get to where they're made. And, uh, you know, he's sitting there ranting on to people, you couldn't afford this Mars bar. I've heard that one. That was more than a year ago, you know. And he's sitting there living on $2 Walmart friggin' lasagnas and, and, you know, reviewing fucking Starbucks. And meanwhile, what am I doing? Eating shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> so what? It was cheap. Cheaper than usually. That's, that was knocked down to less than half price. It was about 45% the price. So I got that one. And, um, you know, it's unbelievable. The guy's... He's, he's ranting on about, I got the rig, I got the content, I got the this, I got the that. Dude, in case you're watching... You don't have shit. And I don't know what the voices in your head might tell you, but you really don't have much at all. In fact, it's not terribly uncommon knowledge that my net worth is probably more than a hundredfold your net worth. And if you want to talk about Tony Mullins' TM movies, his net worth is probably about 250-fold what you're worth. Not two and a half fold, 250 fold. You know, I got the rig, I got the content. Like Rosie said, there's no content. And Jen chipped in, what about the cooking videos? And I, that used to be content. It was hilarious to see you turn a blender on and blast yourself with garlic sauce because you didn't have the lid on. You know, but that was content. Well, we've got one fucking beach video about a month ago, and that's it. That's it! Honestly. What is all this? Oh, I've got the content, I've got the rig. Talking about rigs, you're driving something that is six years younger than you are. Meanwhile, last year, Tony Mullins was telling me he had a car that was two and a half years old. It was having problems with the injectors, and he was going to fuck it off and buy another one. We're talking about someone here who buys new cars without batting an eyelid. And you're telling everybody else how you're better off than they are. And you can afford the this and you can afford that and you got the rig, dude. Look at it. You're driving something which is six years younger than you. You know, what is it? I'll, I'll just get me friggin' phone here, me normal phone. And I'll have a look. So it's 2018. And you're driving something built in. 1987. Your vehicle is 31 years old. I had a machine that was... It just turned 19 years old. It's about 19 and 2 months. That's the car I've just got rid of 19 years and two months old. So basically, 
the thing is, what, 12 years newer than yours, and I'm getting rid of it. I ran too many miles into it, it's essentially clapped out. Now I've got a machine that's a bit older, it's 21 years old, but still got a lot of miles left in it. It's got an air conditioner that works. Huh? You know? <laughs> it's got cruise control that works. It's got central locking that works. You got any of them? <laughs> oh, I've got electric windows, you aftermarket electric window. Dude, you're fucking miles behind everyone else. And if I hadn't have been able to get this one off a relative, <clears throat> I may well have been getting something that's about six years old. But, you know, fortunately I didn't have to piss all that money up to go and buy one that's six years old. I still could, but I didn't need to. Because I don't waste every dollar I've got. I sit on some money. I keep it back. I hold it back for the time when I really need it. Or if I've got to do something big, you know, buy something for this house, buy another car if I tip this one on its roof. You know, I've worked with people that sit there saying that, uh, you know, they don't have any money spare at the end of the week. And, and I was working with this guy who had a car that was as old as shit. And it had a crack in the chassis. And that crack in the chassis, as he jumped the curb to drive into the backyard where he used to park it, because uh, he'd go down the alleyway and drive in through the backyard, um, had caused a crack in the windscreen and I said, shit man, why don't you get another vehicle? He spent years on welfare and now he was working. He was working at the same place I was. He turned around and says, well honestly, I can't afford it. And I said to him, without batting an eyelid, if I put that damn thing on its roof, pointing down to my car, I said, I'll go get a fuck another one tomorrow. Just have daft work, bang, go get another car, who fucking cares? You know, and I've almost always been like that. In fact, the last machine I had, I paid $9,000 for, and I just paid it up front. <laughs> Money I already had. I've never needed finance for vehicles, ever, and I probably never will. But, you know, here you are trying to get finance to go to the fucking dentist. What the fuck? Eh? What is going on here? You need to get credit to fix a couple of teeth. Oh, but I need a crown in it. No, you don't. No, you need a $2 set of pliers and pull the blaster thing out. If I get a tooth pulled, it actually costs me 140 bucks. And uh, I don't think it's... You know, the prices of dentistry seem fairly common between America and here, you know. And, um, and so does glasses. It's actually a little bit cheaper, I think, for glasses here. Um, but... <laughs> You know, you're just spiralling down into the depths of bullshit and, you know, you're dreaming in your own mind about how great you are while you got to go and uh, <laughs> dumpster dive and, and you know, everyone should help me out because if you're going to sit there and tell us why you need to be paid, no, you don't argue with supply and demand. If you supply a good product and the salesperson can sell that to a person or the person themselves doesn't even need a spiel, they buy it straight up, supply and demand has been fulfilled. It's gone through its cycle. The cycle of capitalism has occurred. And, and there you go. We don't need a sub story as to why we should pay for your stuff, blah, blah, blah. Holy smoke, you know, there's different ways people think... My niece went out and sold, now we're talking about like an eight-year-old girl here, went and sold, this is about six months ago, $92 worth of cookies. Yeah. In a country town, they had a little market and she paid 60 bucks or something for the, or 30, well, I think it was 38 bucks for the stuff and she sold it for $93. She's an eight-year-old. She's mastered capitalism and making money off it. She don't need to sit there wailing and whinging and carrying on as to why anybody needs to buy a cookie. She sells them. Simple. You know? <laughs> you got the rig, you got the charisma, you got, you've, you've got nothing. 
You've got a phone and a laptop and an ever-changing YouTube account that continues to get strikes. So what? It's nothing. People are watching me. You want to know exactly why people are watching you? Because you're a joke and they want to see you make your next big trip up. They want to see you say things like, I'm going to do a tutorial on how I shit into a Walmart bag. And that's something you said. They want to see the next tranny prostitute you've come across. They want to see you make the next stupid, embarrassing, fumbling blunder so they can laugh at it. You've got people viewing you who are willing to sit there through hours and hours of hangouts just to see you make some colossal fumble, just to see the cops tap on your window, just to see you say something real blooming crazy or crackers, just to see you talk about how the alien god ashore has come and visited you in a UFO and that's where he parked the UFO and you went on board and you talked to him about the future direction of your channel. That's another one you've said. They like to see crazy. And this is crazy from a safe distance. This isn't crazy, I got some crazy bastard and I got shot up by him in a fucking school or a fucking cinema or whatever. This is crazy from a safe distance. We don't have to contract herpes. We don't have to have our wallet stolen. We don't have to have anything bizarre happen to us because it's only on our computer screen. We're not in direct contact with crazy. But people like to see crazy just as people like watching Jerry Springer and that's pretty much the category you fall into. So anyway, do whatever you want. But I can tell you right now, the path you're on as Rosie has said, is spiraling straight down the shithole. And that's why people are watching. To see how low you can go and have a good laugh at your expense while your delusions are telling you you're someone great. All the guys watching are just laughing their guts out. Woo!